Hi. Who's Peter? What? Are you Peter? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. I like that. <laughs> I want to do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fellas? What's up, lady? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Cool, so, cool. So, what can you tell us about your movie? I can tell you that the movie, if we do our job, if we do our job, Brittany and I, will be a movie that will plant a seed in young people's heads in middle school and in high school and get them hip to the fact that maybe they, there's something else they can do as opposed to joining the war or the you know armed services. So yeah. Joining the military. Yeah. Opening. Opening you guys up to other options, potentially, if you want. Two. <laughs> what inspired you to make this movie? Uh, what inspired us to make this movie? Um, well, we were wondering why people, we didn't know, we set out to ask a question, yeah. why are people joining, and we ended up with even more questions than we had at the beginning, um, questioning a system in which sometimes war is the only option, and joining the military. And, I'll also, and also say, oh, go. we wanted to make something for nothing, no one, no one told us to do this, everyone told us not to, so it's our first feature film, of Little Plow Films. And um, we made it against every rule. We broke all the rules. We made it like graffiti, like street art. Stole the locations. Used our parents' house for the locations. Yeah. And it's possible to make a film. Don't don't listen to them. And I'll the say the bigger the idea, the more the resistance. There Sorry. you go. <laughs> and I'll say this: cause this is for middle school, right? I'll say this, young people out there watching, that which makes you angry can lead you to getting involved in something bigger than you. So ask yourself, what am I upset about? What am I angry about? What do I have a strong opinion about? And if you figure that out, then you can do anything you want. You know what I mean? Harness that energy. Harness it. There you go. And don't blow your wad on your first car. <laughs> Take a trip. Take a trip. No, on your first film, right? All right, cool. If you were in Christopher Nolan's movie, Memento, what would you want to tattoo onto yourself to remember forever? The dream is the truth. Uh, I'd want to tattoo my mama <laughs> her name. loves her son. Uh, Shout out to mom, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and what is a film that made an impact on your life? What's the question? What's, what's the most? What's, what's one a film, film that made an impact on your life? Just any film. Uh, oh, okay. American Tail. Do you guys know that? Yes. About the mouse who comes to America. Yes, you watched that. I love that film. It was a huge. It was one of the first films I watched probably 30 times. That and Ghostbusters Part One, <laughs> not two. We like. We have different tastes in film. <laughs> oh, I love Jack Goes Boating. I just saw it in the theater and recently. That's Philip a great Seymour film. Philip Seymour Hoffman, very beautiful. Yeah. Capturing New York in one apartment. They workshopped it a long time. It's up our alley in terms of how they made it. So. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. Thank you for your time. Great job. Good job, yeah. guys. Great job. Uh, I want to go to your school. Zoe and Eric. Great uh, job. Peter. Good job. Zoe, Peter. Good job. And the Frenchman behind the lens. Oh. I see you, brother. <laughs>